Granite is undeniably one of the most popular and essential natural materials in the construction and decoration industry. However, before you see those luxurious and smooth slabs of stone adorning various upscale homes, they must undergo several processes to achieve such satisfying results. And of course, this work is not as simple as it might seem. One of these processes is the sawing of marble stone. In this step, workers use tools equipped with sharp saw blades to cut the marble. These saw blades are powered by machines to cut through the hard natural stone efficiently. This way, the cutting process does not take too long. However, during this process, workers must be extremely cautious. Any problem with the machine can pose a significant danger to them all. Moreover, cutting marble stone without proper calculations can also endanger the worker's safety. Previously, marble was cut using a dry technique, however, there is also a wet cutting technique. And during this process, the tool continuously sprays water on the marble being cut. This is to ensure the cutting process goes smoothly. Additionally, the wet cutting technique aims to preserve the saw blades on the tools from damage. The friction generated can break the saw blades. Unfortunately, this technique is somewhat more complicated compared to the previous dry cutting process. Workers must first bore holes into the embedded marble. This allows the saw blade to be inserted into the stone. In other words, this process requires many workers and heavy equipment. However, after being cut into rectangular shapes, the modified excavator will push the marble pieces so they can be transported to the next processing location. Again, this process is not as easy as it sounds. This heavy machinery has to push marble blocks weighing 280 tons. Naturally, this task is quite dangerous as it could cause the equipment to fall from a height. But with the operator's skill and extensive experience, this is not a problem for them. Once dropped, the marble pieces are transported to a specific location to continue their processing. Transporting 280 ton marble pieces is certainly not easy. It is even more dangerous than the previous process. To lift these hundreds of tons marble pieces, more than one heavy machine is needed. This requires the operators to coordinate precisely concerning speed, direction, and other factors. If there is a problem, the heavy equipment could be destroyed by the marble, endangering the workers' lives. If the path allows, the marble will be transported using a dump truck. This process also requires extraordinary skill and expertise from the heavy equipment operator. Loading such massive marble onto a dump truck is no easy task. Even a slight mistake could cause the company to lose a dump truck due to improper placement of the marble. No company in the world wants that. Therefore, these workers are well trained in handling this process. Now, after being transported and brought to the processing site, the raw marble enters the next step. In this step, the marble is cut using a special saw machine to achieve the desired shape. Usually, the marble is cut into thin rectangular shapes. This makes it easier for construction workers to install the marble. Fortunately, this process uses special machines, minimizing operational hazards. Additionally, with the use of powerful cutting machines, this step becomes much faster. Moving on to the next step, the cut marble undergoes a process called sanding. This process aims to ensure that the marble to be installed in buildings has a smooth, shiny, and beautiful surface. To maximize its beauty, the marble is sanded using special machines, which makes the work easier. Furthermore, using these machines increases the factory's marble production. Additionally, the factory only incurs maintenance costs for the machines, thus reducing operational expenses. In the final process, the quality check staff will inspect all the produced marble to ensure the quality of the factory's production. They typically look for cracks, smoothness, and precision in the marble cuts. If some marble pieces have production defects, the workers usually return them to the factory for further processing. 
However, if the marble is perfect, these beautiful stones are ready to be marketed to various parts of the world. However, aside from marble mining, limestone mining is also a significant global industry. This is because limestone is used to make a wide variety of products, including cement, glass, plastic, and tiles. In fact, limestone was even used to build the pyramids. Unfortunately, extracting limestone can be just as dangerous as extracting marble. This danger arises because workers have to operate under the scorching sun with temperatures reaching up to 110 degrees Fahrenheit. This extreme heat can cause severe dehydration. Additionally, the use of saw machines produces limestone dust that spreads everywhere. Continually inhaling this dust is hazardous for workers, especially since their only protection is basic cloth masks. Unlike many limestone mines, one particular mine operates professionally to minimize the dangers of limestone dust. Here, we can see heavy machinery working together to extract the available limestone. These large capacity machines can quickly fill dump trucks. The dump trucks used here are not ordinary ones. They are capable of carrying larger quantities of limestone, thus increasing production. Furthermore, their powerful engines enable these dump trucks to navigate the rough terrains of the mining area. However, besides marble mining, limestone mining has also become a major industry worldwide. This is because limestone is used to make everything from cement, glass, plastic, and tiles. In fact, the pyramids were built using limestone, unfortunately. Quarrying limestone is just as hazardous as mining marble. This is because workers must operate under the scorching sun, with temperatures reaching up to 110 degrees Fahrenheit. This is incredibly dangerous, as it can cause extreme dehydration for anyone working under such conditions. Additionally, using saw machines generates limestone dust that spreads everywhere. This dust is very hazardous for workers if they continuously inhale it, especially since their protection often consists of just cloth masks. However, unlike many other limestone quarries, this one operates professionally to minimize the dangers posed by limestone dust. Here we can see heavy machinery working together to extract the available limestone. These large capacity machines can quickly fill a dump truck to the brim. The dump trucks used are not ordinary. The factory employs trucks capable of carrying larger amounts of limestone, and as a result, their production capacity is significantly higher. Additionally, these powerful trucks can navigate the rough terrains of the mining area easily. 